Hello and thank you for watching this video. My name is Amjit Desai and I'm an Adobe Certified Expert based in UAE. As a post-production consultant and certified trainer, I help studios and individuals work with the Adobe softwares such as Premiere Pro, After Effects and Speedgrade. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how you can work with 4K footage shot in the Sony XAVC format uh, and work with it inside Premiere Pro Creative Cloud Edition. Now, before I jump into the demonstration, I just want to mention a few things. So for the sake of this demo, I have shot some material on the Sony F55 ca uh, camera using the Sony S by S card. I'm going to be using the SBAC US20 card reader from Sony to read this material on my computer. Now, if you don't have this card reader, you could be using the Sony Thunderbolt S by S card, uh, which is a card reader which is available in the market. So let's get started. Let me just import this material into the uh, computer, and then we'll talk about it. All right, so I've copied the material on the desktop. I have shot three clips in the Sony XAVC 4K resolution, and the total duration is about five and a half minutes. The total storage required is about 20.5 GB. It took about one and a half minutes to copy all this material onto my system using the SPAC US20 card reader. I'm using a MacBook Pro with a 2.6 GHz Intel Core i7 processor. I have eight gigs of memory on my machine and an NVIDIA GeForce card. So let's open up Premiere Pro and get started. I am using the Premiere Pro Creative Cloud 2014 release and in this demonstration I'll be showing you how to import Sony XAVC 4K material into a Premiere Pro project. We'll be seeing how we can use this material to create a timeline sequence and export it as a ProRes video clip. I will start by creating a new project. So from the welcome window, let's click on the new project button. This should open up the new project window. I'm going to give my project a name. I'm going to leave everything else as default settings and click on OK button. Now there are a few different ways in which you can import assets into Premiere Pro. We will be using the media browser. So let's click on the media browser tab. On the left hand side I see the folders. I'm going to look for desktop. I can see my rushes. So I'm just going to double click and open up the folder and I can see the three different clips that I have shot on the F55 camera. The way I'm going to import these clips is by selecting all three of them, right clicking on it and from the menu that pops up I'm going to choose the import option. There is another way to import these clips and that is by going into the file menu and choosing the import from media browser option. So now we have the clips in our project. Now before I start building up my sequence from these clips, let's have a look at the properties of one of these. So let's right click on one of these clips and select properties. And you can see that this is 4K material shot at 50 frames per second and has been wrapped in the MXF OP1A wrapper. To start working, I'm going to load one of these clips into the source monitor. I can do that by either double clicking on a clip itself or by clicking and dragging it into the source monitor. Once the clip is loaded into the source monitor, I can use the playback controllers in the source monitor at the bottom to review my clip. I can also use the mark in and the mark out buttons at the bottom to make a selection from my clip. So let's do that. Once I have made my selection, I can make a sequence by dragging the source clip from the source monitor into the timeline sequence panel at the bottom right. The moment I released my mouse, the new sequence was created from the footage and I can see that in the program monitor. Let me repeat the steps and add a few more clips to my sequence. So this is how you'll be creating a sequence from your source clips inside Premiere Pro. Now the only thing remaining for us to do is to export this as a ProRes video clip. To do so, I'm going to make sure that the sequence is highlighted. Then I will go into the file menu, export and select the media option. This opens up the export setting panel. On the left hand side, I can see the output video and on the right hand side, I have the export settings. I'm exporting a ProRes video, so I'm going to make sure that the format is QuickTime. In the video tab, I'm going to change the video codec to Apple ProRes 422HQ. I'm going to make sure that the resolution is set to 1920 by 1080. My frame rate is 25 and my field order is set to upper first. In the audio tab, I'm going to make sure that the sample rate is set to 48 Hz. 
Now, if you see in the out window, there is some kind of letterboxing that is happening. This is because I'm scaling a 4K video into an HD frame. I can avoid that by using the source scaling option. I will change that to scale to fill. I am very happy with my export settings, so I'm going to just go ahead and click on the export button and the rendering should start. On my machine, it took one and a half minutes to render a 30 second ProRes HD video clip. The rendering time depends on the machine configuration. You can also have a look at this chart which shows the render times for different formats for a 30 second clip. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you found the information useful in understanding how to work with the Sony XAVC format on Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching.